friends indian academy of orthopedic surgeon is proud to present an ozone machine for the use of orthopedic surgeons pain management surgeons rheumatologists and allied practitioners these imported machines have got a ce marking they have to be plugged into the main plug as shown here we have an oxygen input wire uh, silicon tube this tube has to be fixed with a dry oxygen cylinder here we are showing the fixing with a conventional uh, pressure gauge which does not give 1/16th or 1/32nd of a liter of oxygen how on the picture shown before and in the products that will be available to the doctors we will have a different type of adapter these are special syringes either plastic or silicon without latex which reacts with ozone the syringe can be fixed to the lower attachment of the machine and there is a chart that tells us what percentage of ozone comes out depending on the flow of the oxygen the bearing of the machine and the green light tell us that ozone is being produced we have kept the flow very very low at 1/4th of a liter as the flow is low depending on the switch we can see very slowly ozone is coming out of the machine and the syringe plunger plunger is getting expanded sometimes when the concentration is high and ozone pressure is low we may have to pull it out to extract for intra articular use 5 to 10 ml of ozone is enough whereas for major auto hemotherapy and large volume procedures we may need 50 to 70 ml of ozone this is just a demonstration to show you how it is being used as i am testing the machine in my bedroom after receiving the parcel subsequent clip will show you the use of ozone along with intra articular and portal blocks in a patient the ozone has a very pungent smell and once you release it in the room you will feel the smell of waterfalls or mountains or electric lightning it's a characteristic distinctive smell not supposed to be good for lungs for direct breathing here is a patient with an osteoarthritis of the knee with severe hamstring and quadriceps spasm not able to flex her knee more than 30 degrees extremely painful mri showed some adhesions in the patella femoral joint the median joint line was median joint was pretty damaged she happens to be my aunt she is 63 years of age and we are mixing a cocktail xylocaine very small amount of quinacort then 30 micrograms of clonidine water for injection dilute xylocaine to 0.5 percent this will be given intraarticular first which will also act as a local anesthetic because dry ozone in itself is little painful we ensure that the joint is intraarticular and we use a thin needle so that the injection is rather pain free we have injected only 6 ml into the joint we will now inject 4 ml into the beta 4 block for beta 4 block we just use xylocaine and clonidine we do not use steroids in the muscle belly 
and once the patient is stabilized after two blocks and an intraarticular injection we go forward with giving the ozone i have adjusted the concentration at 70 micrograms per ml and the green light indicates that ozone is coming you can see the ozone is being slowly extracted from the generator as advised by my close colleague and friend prasham shah 7 to 8 ml of dry ozone post injection of xylocaine and lubricant into the knee will ensure that the patient remains satisfied for minimum 3 months sometimes to 3 years or more as ozone is heavier than the air it doesn't dissipate and we have to just give it as a bolus to cause an arthrodiastasis or a joint expansion and you can see the patient is able to move her knee immediately after the injection for those interested in buying the system please whatsapp me for details thank you very much thank you